just came off this, I promise you guys. He's cool. He's just really lonely and he's taking it out on you and your beautiful relationships or lack of them. Um, okay. Uh, next up to the stage. God, I don't even know what to say. He's a he's a, um like one of the only like rustic cowboy looking motherfuckers that I've ever thought was like kind of attractive. Put your hands together for the very funny Marion Morrison. Yes, yes, I got a wrist injury. I'm, I'm two years away from my handicap sticker, all right? It depends if the cortisone shots take or not. So, again, my name's Barry Morrison. And, of course, um, I clearly look like time has passed me by. And that was from what I can, from what I can see was from between 1965 and 1975, the porn star era. I mean, if I was in the time of Burt Reynolds, I would be rolling, all right? But anyway, it's uh, Valentine's Day, all right? And I was going to see we got some couples out here. We got, you know, brother sister couple. We got the progressives. Awesome. Great. More power to you. And I'm jealous of you all because I'm single. And I've been single my entire adult life. So, you know what happens when you're a single, grown man on Valentine's Day? You've been reduced to the background guy in porn. All right? You're just standing around bottling yourself where everybody is just getting it on. Jack and Mill Wayne style, you know? So, and I don't know. I guess uh, you're all out there having fun, you know, you single people here. Some people say I got a bit of a porn problem. I didn't think I didn't think I had a bit of a problem with porn until I started recognizing the male actors. Yeah, probably when you'll uh, start realizing you got a porn problem. Hey, that's uh, Richard Strong. I've seen him. Oh, hey, there's Derry Gould. Hey, wait a second, he's a He's a gay porn actor. What's he doing in a heterosexual film? You know, why do I know this? Yeah, you got to start questioning life decisions at that point, all right? You can go outside and break a horse, build a barn, grow a beard, and rejoin the community or something. You get what I'm saying? It's been a bit of a hard week for me. I mean, my week didn't start off. My, see, my week doesn't start off like you, like everybody else. My week ends on Monday and begins on Wednesday. So when my week began, I started it with flipping off. Grandma. Not my grandma, of course, but she was somebody's grandma. Normally I don't condone flipping off the elderly, you know? <laughs> but in this, <laughs> in this particular case, she's standing at the crosswalk, hitting the pedestrian walk sign, and then flagging through the cars that have just stopped <laughs> to let her walk by. Come on, Grandma! <laughs> the road rage has me envisioning an elder side. Or senile side, whatever you want, whatever side you want to call it. Uh, yes. But no, um, I didn't do nothing except s sit there and stew in my rage at every passing car as she waved and then pushed the call sign again. <laughs> you only get about 30 seconds of that before you lose your cool, alright? But of course, I didn't do nothing. Like I said, I sat there and just stewed in my rage. Yelled at my windshield on the way home 12 hours later because I was still annoyed. And then I got home and I pulled out my Skyrim disc, which is normally me, cool, calm, collected, and played GTA 5. Now, if you're 36 years old and playing uh, GTA 5, and you know, let's put it this way I'm 36 years old. I can play any GTA because there's more than just five, all right? I only have PlayStation 3. But when you're angry and you rage play Grand Theft Auto, you know, you're not playing it for, how shall I say, conditions. You're not playing it for money. You're not playing it for, you know, the stats or anything. You're playing it, you know, for the mass murder option. It gives you the option. Get what I'm saying? You're quiet now, but we all remember no rushing Call of Duty. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's not evil. It's not bad. It's a video game. Some people will be like, um, you know, Mary, don't you think that might technically cross over into the real world? The fact I have these video games is the reason it hasn't crossed over into the real world. <laughs> if you worked in retail for a year, you know what I'm talking about. So, but all right, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. My name's, it's been great. My name's Mary Morrison. You all have a lovely evening. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day.
end of our lineup. We got two comics left, and then if you stick around, Will and I are going to do a 